on, JMU Nation? I'm Kevin Haswell. It's my co-host, Harry Holtclaw, and we're back for another episode of Duke Center. JMU football moved to 9-0, 6-0 in the CAA with a 38-3 win over Rhode Island over the weekend. Harry, what did you see from the game? I saw another stellar performance from those Dukes on defense. They allowed only three points to the Rams and haven't allowed a touchdown since the William Mary game. Yeah, Brian Shore excelled as well, completing 14 of 17 passes for 150 yards and four touchdowns. But enough about football, let's move on to some other sports. JMU field hockey fell to William & Mary 2-1 in the CAA championships. The Dukes are now 12-6, 5-1 in CAA play, and will await to see if they make the NCAA tournament this week. JMU women's basketball tipped off their season when they hosted an exhibition game against CNU this past weekend and won 79-41. They will officially tip off their regular season when they host Rutgers on Friday. JMU volleyball played two matches this week, defeating Delaware and dropping a match to Towson. The Dukes are now 18-5, 9-5 in the CAA. They will play Northeastern in Hofstra this weekend. JMU men's soccer did not play last week, awaiting who they would play in semifinal action of the CAA tournament. They will now play William & Mary on Friday, who they previously beat earlier in the year. Well, that just about does it for this week's episode of Duke Center. But before we go, JMU football goes for their 10th win of the season this Saturday against Richmond. Harry, who do you got? I've got the Dukes continuing that winning streak and beating Richmond for a second straight year, 29-6. Yeah, we're on the same page. i got the Dukes winning 31-17. Well, that does it for this week's episode of Duke Center. Thanks for joining us.